you won't believe this. Ryzen 8000 is getting up to 32 cores, with 9000 getting double that. NVIDIA is being investigated, and the RTX 5000 gets this many cores. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we have a very interesting new report that originally comes from Moore's Law is Dead, where he actually shared this slide, which comes from an internal AMD presentation. And let's just say some massive stuff gets revealed. Starting things off, as you can see, this says Nirvana and Eldora. What that basically is, you have Nirvana, which is Ryzen 8000's core architecture code name, and then Eldora, which is the code name for their CCD architecture. So basically, this is Ryzen 8000 CPUs, or Zen 5. And as you can see, we have some very interesting specs here, starting things off with apparently the IPC boost from last gen. Here it claims a 10 to 15% plus IPC increase. Now, if you watched my recent video, there was actually a claim from Red Gaming Tech that next gen would be looking more like 30% IPC increase. Now, I will say that this is the target IPC increase from AMD, so maybe since then it's gotten quite a bit higher than what they ever expected. Plus, let's not forget, as you can see, well, it's 15%. Plus, now with that said, even if it doesn't get anywhere near this, the next couple specs more than make up for it. When we look down here, well, first you can see 48K data cache, eight wide dispatch, which is fairly impressive, six ALUs, FP512 variants, but then we get down to low power core option. This is obviously something like a Zen 5C core, and it's extremely interesting because then it states that there's a new 16 core complex. What this means is that the CCD, that the module, chiplet, or whatever you want to call it, don't forget that Ryzen is made up of two of your main core complexes, two of those CCDs. And with Zen 4's Ryzen 7000, each one of those only came with eight cores. So they're literally doubling the cores per CCD. Now with that said, you'll notice that it says new 16 core complex. That could mean that they have a new 16 core, but they also still have their eight core. And I'd be willing to bet that that 16 core is for their low power cores. Don't forget that Zen 4C is quite a bit smaller than their regular Zen 4. So they can cram quite a bit more cores into the same size package. So what's really interesting about this is the fact that it means we could see a Ryzen CPU with upwards of 32 cores. Not only that, but we would likely start seeing a mixture of cores. Think of Intel's newer CPUs. So for example, we might have one CPU with say, eight regular Zen 5 cores and 16 efficiency cores or Zen 5C cores. And of course, what's really interesting about that, besides the fact that Zen is a much more power efficient architecture than Intel's, their efficient cores also come with multi-threading. So we could seriously see a massive jump in multi-threaded performance with AMD's next gen CPUs. And get this, it gets even better. Oh, before I move on really quickly, you'll notice that it comes in four nanometer and three nanometers, but Moving on, you'll see Morpheus and Monarch, and this right here is Zen 6. Now, just like before, we're not seeing a giant IPC increase. This right here says 10% plus IPC increase, but we are seeing a doubling of the core complex yet again. And I don't mean doubling eight to 16 plus eight more, so it's tripled. I mean a double and then a double again, going from 16 cores to 32, which means Ryzen 9000 could end up releasing the 64 core CPU. And as you can see down here, we're looking at three nanometers as well as two nanometers. Finally, their Zen 5 CPUs, Nirvana, Eldora, are expected to release within the first half of next year. So it looks like we won't have to wait long. And let's just say Intel's refresh is looking even worse. And next up for today, a pretty wild story that seemed to come out of nowhere. As you can see, it says NVIDIA's French offices raided by antitrust authorities 
following suspicion of, quote, anti-competitive practices. But first, now's the time to do more than just talk about computers. Join me and millions others with today's sponsor, Brilliant, the only online learning platform I trust when I'm ready to learn something new about computer science. I mean, what other place is a full course on neural networks, which is what powers modern AI? Now, that may sound a little too advanced, but this is the beauty of Brilliant. They start with simple concepts and build on them to make complex complex subjects easy, and they do this by making you actually engage with it, by ultimately doing it yourself with these fun and interesting puzzles. Whether it's having you think in code by planning a car route to creating your very own AI, Brilliant teaches you in the best way possible, and today is the perfect day to join, because when you visit my link at brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you'll get to try it out for 30 days free, so there's no reason not to at least see how you like it. Plus, when you decide to get it, you'll get 20% off the premium for life. But once again, you'll have to visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld. As you can see down here, it says, if you're in the business of creating large language models, you might already think NVIDIA's pricing for its H100 data center GPU sells for upwards of $30,000 a pop is criminally expensive. Well, now NVIDIA's broader cloud computing operations in France are under actual legal investigation. As you can see, this was originally reported at the Wall Street Journal, and originally the French authority didn't actually state that it was NVIDIA. They said, quote, the graphics card sector, at least a company in the graphics card sector. But as you can see, the Wall Street Journal specifically states that this was in fact NVIDIA. Now, before everyone starts freaking out, starting to blame NVIDIA for a bunch of stuff, Keep in mind that the French authorities did specifically state that this does not mean that they, in fact, are doing bad things. They're just suspected of it as of now, though I will say that they did receive a warrant from a judge. So it does sound like they probably have at least something on NVIDIA. And let's just say it does not look good. And lastly, for today, we have some huge news on NVIDIA's next-gen RTX 5000 GPUs. If you've been following this channel, you know that NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs are set to be built on their Blackwell architecture. And as you can see down here, the well-known leaker who's been extremely accurate in the past, Copi7 Kimmy, actually leaked some details. When we read this over here by Video Cars, it says, according to Copi, the GB100 Blackwell Data Center GPU. Now, don't worry, he gets to the gaming cards in just a second, but first he talks about the Data Center card, says that it's set to utilize 10 TPCs within each of its eight GPCs. This configuration suggests an increase in the total core count over the GH100. And then he gets to it. It says what's even more noteworthy is that the details about the GB202 GPU. Now, before we move on to the specs of the GB202, I wanna really quickly kind of go over what's been going on as far as the naming scheme. For those who don't know, all the graphics cards that you see, say, the RTX 4090, 4080, 4070, 4060, all these cards, every one doesn't actually have its own GPU. They're all made from around three to four GPUs that have basically been bent down to handle those different SKUs. Basically in chip manufacturing, there are issues that happen when you create a chip. And let's say that this one chip has a couple cores that are damaged, so you can't put it in say a 4090. Instead of just throwing it away, you take away, say, a few more SMs and then make it the next GPU under that. Well, the GB202 is set to be the top end GPU. Normally, it's 102, 100. So 100 is typically, you know, the data center GPU. And in this case, it is GB100. But then the card that makes up, say, the 4090 is usually the 102 card. But instead, it looks like NVIDIA with Blackwell is planning to further differentiate the accelerator cards from the gaming cards. So now it starts with two. So it's a GB202. And as you can see, the configuration reportedly features 12 GPCs with eight TPCs each. And there's two of those. So it's 16 times 12, which makes for a total of 192 SMs. And when we compare that to to say the 4090, we can see the 4090 only has 128 SMs. Basically, if this is right, and let's say the GB202 is the GPU that goes into the 4090 and it utilizes all 192 SMs, that's a pretty massive jump from 
the 4090. And this, of course, means that even despite the rumors that we've been seeing that AMD isn't really going to be competing in the higher end with the next generation, NVIDIA is not going to just lay down flat. They're still releasing monster GPUs. And let's just say I'm excited for next gen. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for the RTX 5000 series or what about AMD's next gen CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermel. And as always, have a great day.